use today. Another head coach who really gets it, Tulane women's basketball head coach Lisa Stockton, who's been there for 29 years. To be at a place, Brooke, for that long, what does that really say about her character and what she's wanting to do there at Tulane? It says to me that she's built, you know, a program where it really attracts the right type of players. And last year with the finish they had, 21 and 10, they're moving their way up the American. She gets a big transfer last year in Moon Erson. And Tulane has become this program now that – you worry about facing them. Every coach in the American talks about how difficult it is to face Tulane. Their defense, they're stingy, they're experienced. And Coach Stockton is another one of those positive yeah. type uplifting coaches you want to be with. Let's welcome her right now into the American studios. Coach Stockton, thanks so much for taking the time to join us here. You had said that this team's success was really going to be predicated on how quickly your team was able to gel all of the new faces. I'm curious what you've seen here in these first few practices and where that's really shown uh, just the chemistry of this group. Give us a sense of what that looks like. Well, I think the summer really started us off. I mean, they were all here all summer. We, we worked really hard. I think I've been really impressed with work ethic. Um, you know, they just, uh, this group has really worked. I think it's competitive every day. You, know, you can't ever really predict who's going to win when you put um, teams together, and I think that's, that's great. But you're right, the chemistry and being able, I, I keep saying, when the lights are on, who can play? And I think that's going to be really important to see who we can count on in, in clutch situations. Obviously, losing a lot from last year, losing a lot of experience. I mean, we're going to have to have some different players step up. Hey, Coach, Brooke Weiss wrote here in the studio. Who is that player or players right now that are starting to separate themselves from the pack on your team? Well, I, you know, I think, you know, we can't say enough about Dinah Jones and, and really how she played last year. And she played with a compliment of a, a lot of fifth-year seniors. But I think you, you really I – mean, you're going to see her really elevate her game and her leadership. Um, you know, I certainly can't talk enough. You know, we've got a transfer, Rachel Hakes, that uh, has come in and – I mean, I'm still trying to find something she doesn't pick up quick. Um, you know, she's done a tremendous job of leading this group, even though they're, you know, they're, they're new. And I think she's going to be a, a super player for us. Um, you know, I think some of our posts, you, you look at um, Irina um, Perot and, and you look at Anija Grant, they, they played a role last year, but I think their role will be bigger. Um, and, again, I, I think we got some athleticism in the guards. And as they start to separate, I think you're going to see some – yeah, some, some good play from the guards. But, um, you know, we want to play fast, and that's what we like to do. And um, we really want to play fast and go and, you know, be a team that's hard to guard. Coach Stockton, Mark Adams, just an amazing career. Nearly 30 years now, over 600 career wins. Uh, I'm, I'm curious, have players changed? Have parents changed? Have you changed? Yes, all of them. You know, all of those things change. But I think you would definitely expect um, – you expect change. And I think you expect uh, generations to change o over time. You know, I, I think one thing that's really exciting is, you know, the skill level of players. There's so many, so many players now with, with a high skill level, and it's just about trying to put it in your system. Um, you know, players are probably – I mean, parents are probably a little more involved. I think that's definitely something. They're probably a little more involved now than, than they were in the past. And, you know, we've got to adjust to that. Uh, I think my players in the past think I'm, I'm soft now. They, they thought I was a lot tougher um, years ago, and maybe that's true. But, um, you know, I, I will say I'm having as good a time as I, I have in coaching. I, I think that I'm, I'm getting the players, that, the players that I really love coaching and try to motivate – you know, maybe I'm a little more relaxed, which makes them a little bit more relaxed. But uh, I, I think you have to adjust. And if you don't adjust, um, it, it's definitely hard to keep up. Coach, with Rachel Hakes, a 4.0 student at Fairfield, nominated for NCAA Woman of the Year, where do you see her smarts and leadership really shine through the most here early and just getting her, you know, this season? Well, you know, I never get in any kind of um, intellectual battle with her because I know she's going to beat me, so I know that. But, uh, you know, I, I think her smart, she, she knows, she reads players really well. I think she knows her team. She picked it up really quick, how players can score, how to get on the ball. Our system, uh, she, she's picked that up really quickly. We put something in practice today, and, I mean, it was, you know, two minutes, and she, she kind of had it. So I, I think it's all of that. But probably the thing that has impressed me the most is just her ability to lead and her consistency. I think that's been something that uh, our team's bought into. Uh, it's not – it hasn't been a struggle. I think she's really proven herself very early, and um, 
they're looking to her. And I, I think she and Dinah um, working together uh, to, be, to be the leaders of this team are, are huge for us. And I think, you know, when we get to the point where those two can keep each other accountable all the time and, and kind of split up their responsibilities as leaders, I, I think this team can really flourish. Coach, you mentioned Dinah Jones, a, a third team member of the uh, American uh, postseason team last year. And then also you guys get into the WNIT. So you're, you're making those steps, getting into the postseason. But what will it take to, to get into that NCAA tournament right. this season? Well, you know, we felt like last year, um, you know, we had a bad loss at the end of last year. You know, we felt like we were all on track to, to be an at-large bid. And we, you know, we... The, lost a game. We didn't lose a game in February, and uh, then you know, we started in March, and we lost, and, and then we ended up losing to, to Houston in the tournament. But, you know, we felt like we were right there. So to answer your question, I guess it's um, you, you got to have a good resume, but you, you just got to be consistent, especially down the stretch. Um, you yeah, know, this league, I, I thought last year this league was as good as any uh, formula of this league in the past, whether it's Conference USA or the early years of the American. I thought we were really, really good. And you couldn't take a night off. And so I think that's going to be the same thing this year is you just you can't have a bad night if you're going to try to get an at-large bid, um, even an at-large postseason bid in any way. Um, you've got to be consistent. And, and I think that's where, where that chemistry we talked about is going to really count when you go into January and February. Coach, when I think of the American on the men and the women's side, I just think of toughness, physical toughness, mental toughness. You've built your program around tough players for decades now. Who's your toughest player that you can build around and why? Well, I think it's the two I've mentioned just because, uh, again, I think they've proven it. You know, Dinah, uh, this is her fifth year with us. Um, she's been on so many different teams, whether it's all freshman team or six man of the year. She's done so much of that and fought through some injuries. You know, she's certainly proven that. You know, I've definitely seen some toughness w with Rachel. Um, and just, you know, being able to, to come in. Again, a new program, something new. I think, I think she's shown that. But I also think that, that also the, the team follows that. And, and I think our, our post players are going to really step up a lot more than people probably expect. Um, you know, we've got a good little rotation there that I think we can get some things out of them. You know, they've responded really well when we've challenged them. So, um, you know, I, I definitely think we're going to be tough. And, and I also, we, we put a lot of emphasis on skill. And uh, I think our players, if I can say an area we've improved the most, is probably skill since last year. And so I hope that's going to be something that's going to help us, especially early. Coach Stockton, we're looking forward to tuning into the Hoops Hullabaloo tonight. Excited to uh, see these big dance moves from Ron Hunter that he's talked so much about. Hoping maybe to see you out there facing him off in a dance off. Uh, what, what can you we know, expect from you? It's tough to be with Ron Hunter, right? He's a big talker. You know, he is a big talker. So I don't know. He promised somebody big last night I was singing. Yeah, big personality. And I love him. And I, I'm so excited about his team. But he talked last night about us singing. I'm going to tell you, that is not happening. I, I, you might find me dancing, but you're not going to find me singing. So we're going to have fun tonight. Though It's going to be a good time. And um, I'm really excited. You know, again, we haven't done anything like this in a while. These ratings are going to be way up off the charts. We can't wait to tune in. Coach, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. And looking forward to seeing here these new pieces that you have this season. Thank you. I mean, she seems really excited about Rachel Hakes. I mean, Dinah Jones, we know what she's done there for Tulane. But really, to get this transfer in from Fairfield, she's got the smarts. What would you like that you heard from Coach Stockton, particularly about her? I think, too, experience is another word that, you know, we're starting to hear throughout this conference, with, especially with transfers. And when you can get a player that can settle the rest of your team, especially uh, someone who is as intelligent, uh, is as good, you know, physically as the game, she can break it down and really help get those X's and O's and translate that to some of the younger players. So I think Lisa really has trust and faith in her team this year. Yeah, and Dinah Jones is a giver. Yeah. And she does off the floor and off the floor. I just think the leadership of this team coming off a successful campaign last year and a coach that really gets it, you know, talk about how she's a little more relaxed, mm -hmm. that the, the players are more giving, that, that she's willing to listen. It's just an exciting time for Tulane basketball men and women. Dinah Jones and Rachel Hakes, they are going to be joining us here right now in the American Studios 
Rachel, Dinah, thank you both so much for taking the time. Really looking forward to seeing the new pieces here this season. Dinah, I'm curious, having Rachel, uh, you know, her smarts, 4.0 student, as a point guard, you know, what does that really do for you, and how has she been a great addition for this team? Uh, Rachel has been, like, really phenomenal. Uh, just her knowledge at the point guard position, it has been just um, – it's just been so, so helpful for me, getting me into spots and being able to talk to my teammates, getting them into spots. So it's just been really phenomenal, and I'm excited to play on the court with her this year. Ladies, I know having a, a successful postseason was uh, great, but just to have a little taste of that WNIT, right? Now you want the NCAA tournament. You were almost there. felt like you should have gotten an at-large bid. You know, what is the case for this team to get to the promised land this year? Why will you make the NCAA tournament? Mm -hmm. yeah, um, <laughs> well, I think um, the biggest thing that we're focusing on right now is just taking it day by day. Um, I know, like, my team last year, we had made the NCAA tournament. We won our, our MAC tournament. And, you know, we were picked fourth in the preseason pool. So I think um, just kind of having a chip on our shoulder, um, people aren't necessarily expecting us to – do big things because they keep saying, you know, we've lost 16 years and stuff like that, which is very true. But um, people out here are ready to step up. We're excited. We're just in the gym working really hard, and, and we're going to see where it takes us. Yeah, like Rachel said, like, we have people who are hungry. We have people who are willing to work hard, and that's always fun to have. And you can go far with that. So I just think that us competing in practice and being able to, you know, uh, push each other on and off the court, you know, it's, it's really big for us, and that's why we'll be able to go far this year. Dinah, uh, I'm fascinated by you. You're, you're a camp counselor for the Special Olympics. You're a big sister. You do a lot of things off the floor that, that are so impactful. Where did that giving spirit come from, and how are you going to leverage that into your own personal and professional life moving forward? Uh, just my family, my family, my mom. I give credit to my, my mom and my parents. Um, they just instilled in me at a young age to treat people how you want to be treated. And that's just something that I carried on till now. So that's really it. I give credit to my parents, mom and dad. <laughs> Rachel, for you from Minnesota, having played at Fairfield, coming to Tulane this year and experiencing the New Orleans culture, what are you enjoying most about being there? Uh, any of the, the food, the, the city, the nightlife, what, what has really stood out? Yeah, I mean, New Orleans is a really cool place. And um, when I came on my visit, it was something that I kind of just loved experiencing a new culture. I love trying new things, doing different things. Um, I do really like gumbo, so that's always a good one. Friday's at the dining hall every Friday, but um, I don't know. I'm just enjoying meeting new people and experiencing people from a different region in the country because there are a lot of regional differences between Minnesota and then being in Connecticut and now being down here, down south. Southern hospitality is very real. I love it. Um, so, yeah, I'm very happy to be in New Orleans. One of those differences as well, to, to be playing for a coach who's now been at a place for 29 years and head coach Lisa Stockton, what have you learned most from her here now? Um, you know, I guess this is a question for the both of you. What have you learned from Coach Stockton? What's one lesson that she's taught you so far that's really stuck with you? Rachel, we can start with you. Yeah, I think coming into Tulane, I actually just have like a very newfound belief in myself. Um, I think I'd always come from a, a little bit of a place of self-doubt and that kind of drove me to work hard. But knowing that, like, you know, you can be confident in who you are, be confident that you're a good player. And I think that's really elevated my game. And for me, um, Coach Stockton is, has always been a, a coach that talked about you can't teach effort. And she's always been a coach to me that I want to go out there and do whatever I can to help us win. And she's always been a coach that I want to play for. You want to win for her. And that's just something that uh, is really special to me about her. Ladies, what are you most looking forward to tonight? <laughs> Oops, hell of a loo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be really fun. Um, this is something we've never done. So 
uh, I think it's going to be really cool to see, you know, how many fans come in and supporting, and I get to see my all of my family in the stands tonight. So it's going to be really amazing. Yeah, I actually have class, but <laughs> <laughs> I'll be tuned in maybe on ESPN Plus. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, we're looking forward to tuning in, and we appreciate your time and really looking forward to seeing here the new pieces on this team. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.